Oh, hello, welcome back to Tales Along El Camino Sierra. We're on the lookout today for new bits of Eastern Sierra history that we can write new tales about. Remember, we upload a new tale every Thursday. If you have an idea or a comment, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. And thank you again for tuning in to Tales Along El Camino Sierra. We hope you enjoyed today's tale. Episode 10, The Thule Elk of the Owens Valley, another tale of history along El Camino Sierra. Travelers along El Camino Sierra are often surprised to see large numbers of antlered animals, much larger than the common mule deer, recurrently grazing in the fields throughout the Owens Valley. The Thule Elk is a magnificent creature that frequents the open country adjacent to Highway 395. Their numbers have not always been so great. In 1874, there was just one breeding pair remaining in all of California. It's thanks to the efforts of an Owens Valley couple who helped bring this regal symbol of the great American West back from the brink of extinction in the 1930s. The Tule elk are actually not native to eastern California. Their ancestral domain was the marshes and grasslands of the Great Central Valley and the grassy hills of the Coast Range. It's estimated their numbers were as high as half a million when the first European settlers arrived in California in the early 1700s. As California grew, the elk population plummeted. Domestic livestock competed for food, and the elk were hunted to feed the thousands of miners during the gold rush, which further led to their decline. By the 1870s, there was just a single breeding pair of Thule elk in the entire state. The two remaining elk were quickly placed under protection, and an aggressive recovery effort was put into place. The population at first resurged, but then habitat loss and poaching took their toll, and the state's population dwindled to just 28 Thule elk by 1895. Wildlife officials once again stepped in to aggressively manage the remaining elk. During the next several years, no fewer than 21 different attempts were made to transplant elk to different locales throughout the state. Sequoia and Yosemite National Park, among other places, were thought to be ideal locations for the elk. But each of the relocation efforts failed to produce the desired results, and the Thule elks numbered continued to languish. In 1933, Owens Valley businessman and conservationist Walter Dow and his wife Maud came to the rescue. They initiated and financed the transplanting of the 27 struggling elk from Yosemite to a ranch they owned in the Owens Valley. The following year, the Dows arranged to bring an additional 28 elk from a reserve the state had established near Tupman, California, to their Owens Valley ranch. Walter and Maud fed and cared for the elk on their property, and the noble beast thrived at their new home. But keeping the 600-pound animals confined to their ranch proved just about impossible. The growing herd made their way to the alfalfa fields of other ranchers and to nearby lands owned by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. By the early 1960s, the herd had grown to an estimated 300 Fences and valuable crops were being destroyed, and ranchers began to complain that there were too many elk in the Owens Valley. The State Fish and Wildlife Department opened up the elk to hunting to cull their numbers. Fearful that the Thule elk would once again face the possibility of extinction, the Dows formed a committee for the preservation of Thule elk. The committee lobbied the city of Los Angeles to set aside 240 square miles of their Inyo County land as a preserve for the elk and for the state to reconsider their decision to allow elk hunting in the area. Politics and legal wrangling held play on the elk issue for the next 10 years. In 1971, California finally passed legislation requiring that the elk not be hunted until their numbers statewide surpassed 2,000 head. The state also directed the California Department of Resources to reintroduce the elk into former habitats throughout the state wherever possible. By 1976, the U.S. House and Senate weighed in, passing a resolution that 2,000 was indeed the correct number of Thule elk to maintain a stable population. And they directed U.S. agencies to make federal land available to assist in the elk's preservation. Today, fish and wildlife officials have put the total Thule elk population in California at about 4,200, 
with approximately 400 tule elk here in the Owens Valley. Rarely does a person, or in this case two people, have such a significant impact as having saved an entire species from extinction. Let us give thanks to the Owens Valley Walter and Maud Dow, who took matters into their own hands to keep us from losing this magnificent species of animal. Thanks for watching Tales Along El Camino Sierra. Remember, we upload a new episode every Thursday, and you can help us keep tales going by subscribing to our channel and sharing it with others. If you'd like to enjoy more tales, you can pick up copies of our popular books at dozens of retailers throughout the Eastern Sierra or directly from our website. Thanks again for watching Tales Along El Camino Sierra, where we take you on a sentimental journey along Highway 395.